I love the Forza Horizon game series. I think it's a great game series, mainly because of the whole open world aspect of it, and just the amount of cars that are in the game nowadays. I started playing Forza Horizon at Forza Horizon 2. I do now own Horizon, like the first one, but my first one was Forza Horizon 2, and I really did enjoy that game. I loved how the um, DLC packs worked, I liked online how it worked, it was very very simple and I just enjoyed the map. And then Forza Horizon 3 came out in 2016 and I loved that game so much. It was so good, everything about it, the map, the car list, the online, everything was so sick. So when Forza Horizon 4 got announced I expected it to do bits, oh it's set in the UK, what could be better than that? I was like, bro, this is the sickest game ever. It's going to be so good. But I was so wrong. I couldn't have called it more wrong, to be honest. I don't like Forza Horizon 4 much, really. I think it's too overcomplicated. Please go back to normal DLC packs. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my Forza Horizon 5. Where I want it set, how I would love it to be set out as a game in general, and what features... No, I'm not talking about features. And what main aspects of the game I want in there to make it feel like a Horizon game that I would enjoy? Tell me down below in the comments what you want in Horizon 5 or where you want it set. I'll probably make a video with your ideas. Yeah, you're leaving the side, men, but thankfully, you made the other guys. So for the location, I want it set in Norway. Norway, it looks beautiful. I want to go there. It just looks like a nice, calm, lovely place, doesn't it? I mean... It's full of trees, I love trees. They've got a huge amount of beautiful mountain roads we could drive along and drift along as well. And they also have lovely towns and, and for the city, we'd have Oslo as the main city on the map. And then obviously everything else is little towns and villages all connected by sweeping mountain roads and then the odd highway here, stuff like that. That, that that'd be beautiful. We've got forests, we've got lakes, like mountains we can actually drive up as well. And big off-road lifted trucks. But Norway is very green. Not as in the colour, but to do with fossil fuels and that, they've very they've got a lot of electric cars there. So we'd need Tesla. It's a shame Tesla aren't in Forza Horizon 4 because Teslas are nice. I like Teslas. A lot of people say bring back Toyota for Forza Horizon 4, which I'm not huge bo hugely bothered about. I mean, if it's set in Norway, then we need Tesla. We just do. It makes the most sense. But you didn't make me, so I can stand here on my own two feet as. A and I'd also like it to have the Forza Horizon 2, Forza Horizon 3 style stroke vibe. Like nothing was too complicated in them games. Horizon 4, everything's just way too complicated now. I don't really like it. I think that's the main reason I don't like it. I'm actually going to make a video on reasons I, I dislike Forza Horizon 4. Oh, sorry. But yeah, Forza Horizon 2, Forza Horizon 3, it's a lot more simple. Please go back to that. And this leads on to my next point. Jack about you on this old school beat so let's get started on what monthly car packs you remember them the excitement you had every month when a new car pack was about to drop every, every like the first tuesday of every month we got a new car pack for like the first year of the game it was so good i love that it was so exciting to get that new car pack and find out what cars are going to be in the car pack but in the horizon 4 they didn't do that did they did the car pass which was alright, but some of the cars were fairly, fairly dreadful, I've got to say that. But when we had the monthly car packs, they all seemed to be fairly good. Like, there may have been the odd one or two cars in a monthly car pack out of seven you didn't like, but you'd still drive it anyway and use it because it was just a great time. So I'd love it if they brought back that instead of, like, that car pass way they've done it on Horizon 4. They're a lot more exciting. And it's just a vibe, isn't it, guys? A while your life's peak, Tommy Gunn got two mil views in three weeks. Four Horizon 4 expansions, didn't really do well, did they? Fortune Island, I like that Lego expansion. Don't get me started on that, nobody really liked it. Yeah, no one really liked that, did they? So, I think for the next Horizon game, Horizon 5, three expansions. I don't know what these expansions would consist of, mainly at least two new islands and then maybe something else. The timing of the expansions is very important, so I've put December, because that's when we get an expansion anyway, and then June, and then November. So the game will have been out about 13, 14 months when we get the last expansion. Now, I think this would work very well, mainly because it would keep players entertained on the game for over a year, which is what games want, don't they? They want players to stay focused in the game and keep playing that game months and like even years after it's released. So I think free expansions would really work very well. Maybe hard getting the ideas, but 
you know, they come up with some top quality stuff, apart from the last Forza Horizon 4 expansion. 14 million people didn't click it, because they already knew that it was gonna, gonna be... Now, one of the biggest points is online. Forza Horizon 3 online. Oh, don't get me started. Bro, I played that way too much, like an unhealthy amount of playground games. But it was so easy to get into a lobby, so fun when you play in the lobby, and it was not much loading time. But now Forza Horizon 4 has the worst online I've ever played in a Forza game. Apart from Motorsport 7, that was fairly trash at the beginning. But for a Horizon game, it is terrible. You can't just play infected by yourself. You have to be in a team. It is so rubbish. The locations, I don't even think are that good. I mean, the quarry's okay, but... No. And when you go online into these team infected, you always end up there uh, them more timer gardens. Like, you've got rocks to hit, trees to hit, water that slows you down. That is just a terrible location for online games. We just need them old style playground games, though, which is so much more fun. Same with the racing, I mean, free roam rush. Bro, who wants to be doing that every day? Definitely not me. And your EP flopped, you need to be stopped, because none of your new singles are getting, getting caught. I've wrote something here, but I, I can't understand it. I can't read it. Five minutes later. Manufacturer car packs. Maybe where we get like a BMW car pack. Or say if there's a manufacturer that's not in the game, we get like a Skoda car pack. Now that is something I'd really want. A Citroen car pack. A Peugeot car pack. For example, say if Subaru weren't in the game, we'd get a Subaru car pack. Something like that. I don't know, it just ties in with the whole monthly car pack situation, doesn't it? Yeah, boy! So yeah, they're my main points what I'll talk about with Forza Horizon 5 to make it a game that I'm actually really going to enjoy and want to play. Like, it doesn't happen with Forza Horizon 4 anymore. I'm just sorry, it just doesn't. So yeah, like I said, tell me down below in the comments what you want to see in Forza Horizon 5, where you want it to be set, and tell me if you agree with my ideas. Leave a like on this video as well. It really does help. Subscribe if you want to be around here for Forza videos. So yeah, I'd appreciate that, but thank you very, very much for watching. But until next time, guys, take care.